Alright everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe video guys, we are so close to 2,000 subscribers, if you are new, hit that subscribe button and don't go anywhere, and today guys, we are going to be looking at a Zorg GX deck today, I was going to start off this hype train of shiny legends with Venusaur, but... Now nah, we're going with Zork, because you know what, I pulled a Rainbow Rare Zork, we're going all in with Zork, there is no if ands, or buts about it, and uh, we also got our normal Zork. We're going to be looking at Zork Galissapod, this is the my favorite Zork list at the moment, I think it's going to be the one with the arguably most success, it's kind of like a Zork GX toolbox with Galissapod, Coco, Feeny, Turdinator, and I guess we'll see how this works out. Um, anyway, so to take a look at the deck today... Um, Zork GX. Hands down, the best card out of Shining Legends. There is, no one's going to deny this card is going to be game-changing. Trade is a very good ability. It's the same thing as Empoleon's Diving Draw. If you guys know my boy Empoleon, um, over here. Empoleon's a good card, right? It's a great card. We just covered it like a week ago. But... It's never been able to really take off in a lot of times. It's Great Nick's Legacy. It had its time in the sun a long time ago, but right now it's not very good. It's a stage 2 in a format where even big basics and stage 1s that are really tanky um, perform really well. Empoleon has time keeping up. However, however, Zor GX is great. Not only does it have an arguably better attack than Tachmant, it's got more HP. It's a stage 1, so it's got more HP. It has the exact same ability, and this is a crazy good ability. And you can stack this, so if you have like two Zoraks in play, you can trade every single turn. You combo this with Mallow, it's OP. Righteous Beating is really good, or Riotous Beating. For a DC, does 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play, which is pretty nuts in my opinion. Um, if you have a full bench, it does 100 with the Zactus, so you can do 120. With a Choice Band, you can do 150, which is the same amount of damage Galissapod can do. So you kind of see the trend there. We do have Trickster GX. Not the best GX attack in all opinion, in all honesty. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon attacks. Use as this attack. Not bad. Um, for two darks, it's not bad. I think you're mainly going to focus it as a support Pokemon with Righteous Beating. But Zork GX is pretty good in, you know, in all honesty. And, you know what? Zork may be great. You got your baby Zork, which is equally as good. Stand In is an amazing ability with Galissapod. You also have Mind Jack, which is really good. It can take easy one-shots, and it's only a non-EX attacker. So, your opponent's not going to take two prizes for KOing you, which is awesome. So, Zork and Zork GX combo super nicely together. And then, we're going to be looking at its partner, is Galissapod. Galissapod, not only is it good to take early game KOs, first impression for a single energy, you can combo with Guzma and Ace Rolla, make Galissapod pretty tanky, um, but not only that, it covers as your triping for grass. Zoark is going to be weak to fighting. Now, I make, I'm making an opinion and a guess here that fighting is going to be very popular now that Raichu and Zoark are going to be big cards in the new format. Plus, you already have Drampa and Darkrai already being pretty powerful. So, we are going to see a popularity in fighting Zygarde, Pissimian, Crabominable, Lycanroc, Marshadow, I guess. I don't know. They're all going to see a lot more play now because they're fighting types. Galissapod can just shred through them. You know, you hit Lycanroc and Zygarde for weakness. So Galissapod is a great attacker in this deck. Also, if you're playing against Greninja, you're going to group Greninja a pretty hard time too. And you have Crossing Cut, which isn't a bad GX attack. I think it's better than Trickster. Trickster is okay, but for two darks, when you're going to use a DC, it's kind of awkward and clunky. That's why I think Crossing Cut's the go-to. We have more GX attacks, though, that we don't we can use also. We'll be running one Feedy. Now, Volcanion is pretty hard to beat. Galissapod is obviously weak to fire. Zoark is okay against it, I guess. But even then, it's still kind of tricky. So with Aqua Ring, we can keep going back and forth, doing 100 with a Choice Band to Volcanion. We also have Tapu Storm, which I just really like in this deck. Um, Tapu Storm is an amazing Jex attack. If you're playing against Gardevoir, Beekabulu, which is going to be a lot more popular now thanks to Venusaur, Tapu Storm is going to help you out a lot. And then you also have it's you know jex tech and now we do have two tapu cocos with flying flip you know you got free retreat so if you need a guzma or ace roll into something with the Lissapod, you have tapu coco gx um though we have stand in obviously field blower and garboder are huge threats about that and lysander and guzma i guess not lysander sorry guzma but we do have flying flip which is great again zorg and glispot don't always do enough damage to finish stuff off with only 150 damage 
Coco can come in and just fly and flip, knock him out, especially Tapu Lele. Speaking of Lele, we do have our two Leles. We're going to be running one Turnator in the deck too, just for the maximum memes. With Shell Trap, you're able to hit Metagross for weakness. I'm just going to try out Turnator in here. I kind of like it. We're just going to test it out and see if it's any good. Um, so those are all your main attackers. We got a lot of them. It's basically a Zork Toolbox, right? Um, now there's a lot of cool things this deck can do. It gets to abuse Mallow, which is great with Mallow. Search deck for up the two cards. Then, you know, shuffle them back to your deck and put them on top of your deck. And then you use Zork's ability and then you get those cards immediately. So Mallow can really shift the tides in your favor. Um, but the main focus, again, is going to be stuff like Gullspot. So Guzma is going to be in here for Gullspot. We're going to max that out four Guzmas. We're going to go two ways Rolas. We do play one Bridget. Turn one Bridget is awesome in this deck. We got our three ends for draw support. We got our three Sycamores for draw support. We got our four Choice Bands. I'm just going straight up with four. Being able to do 150 with Zork and Gullspot and being able to do 100 damage with Turnator and being able to do um, 100 damage with two Volcanion. All are possible thanks to Choice Band. We're going to just max out at four. Um, so yeah, that's why we got that. Two, or not th two, slopes, I'm sorry, three. Now, there are some big things in this deck, like Turdinator, have big retreat, Zork, GX has a two retreat cost, um, but with Floatstone, this allows you to combo it with Guzma and Galissapod. So we're going to be running three Floatstones in here over two. I think it's a little better. You can always go two, because you do play two Ace Rollas for Guzmas, but there are turns where you might want to Ann or Sycamore or Ace Rolla or Mallow, something else, right? So it's like, you don't always want to have that Guzma turn when you might want to do something else. So three floatstones will help us with that. Four DCs. Everything uses DC in here. Four rainbow energies. Everything in this deck uses rainbow like Glissapod and Zoark. We're never going to use rainbow energy on um, Turdinator though. It's, we're never going to use Nitro Tank. We're never going to use Bright Flame. Um, you might use main Hydro, Hydro Tapu Storm. Sorry, Hydro Storm. I just almost said Hydro. I'm just too hyper right now after pulling that Rainbow Wear Zoark. Um, but yeah, we do have Tapu Storm, of course, and it needs our water. Rainbow Energy complicates for that. We have Tapu Cure, which is also kind of nice, too, um, in a deck like this. And, um, yeah, four rainbows. We got one Grass. Just You might need one Grass Energy on your Glisspod for first impression. Again, Jirachi, Hammer, Drampa, all threats to Rainbow Energy. So, yeah, that is all the stuff we got on that side. Now, we're going to be taking a look at the items, and there are a lot of important ones, right? We got two Evo Sodas. Evo Soda's great. A lot of people think Timer Ball's good. Honestly, it's not as good as Evo Soda. Evo Soda's better, and as a Stage 2 deck, you can just Evo Soda into Zoark, Evo Soda into Ghost Spot, Evo Soda into, you know, Baby Zoark. And this is a lot more efficient than Timer Ball. It's also better than Ultra Balling, because with Ultra Ball, you got to discard cards from your hand, which you, which you might not want to do. So... It's great. We got two field blowers. Obviously, we might need our abilities, but we also might run into something that stacks choice band and it's really threatening with the choice band. One stretcher to get back your Pokemon. One special charge since everything in this deck uses DCE and rainbow energy mainly. You could run two special charge if you're pardon me, really, really scared. It's up to you if you want to go two or one. I'm just going with one for now. I think one is fine enough as is. For Ultra Ball, search out your deck for anything you need. Again, Evo Soda will be better than Ultra Ball in a lot of situations, so there are ways you can abuse that. Anyways, this is the Zoark Galissapod Toolbox deck that I built on PDCGO. Let's try it out. Let's see if this deck's any good. You know what? We're just going to get straight into the matches because, you know, I am just way, 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 way too hyper right now. Literally, literally, I pulled your boy Zoark Rainbow Rare. I think I'll, eat, I'll probably include that at the end of the video, my uh, pulls that I got, so uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, my my reaction was nuts. I I just can't believe I pulled it. I called it also, so it's not like I just pulled it. Like, oh, can we get a Zork? Oh, we didn't get it. No, I was like, all right, we're probably not going to get Zork, so we'll open it. But uh, you know what? I still managed to pull a Zork. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm, I'm just in shock right now. But we're going to get some matches with our deck. I got a lot more Zork deck ideas in mind anyways. Um, I do want to look at maybe like a Zoark Passimian deck, because Passimian's a fighting type. I'm going to be doing a few fighting types. I might make it a series called Anti-SL, because Raichu and Zoark both lead to fighting. They're going to be very huge. Zoark's going to be used in mostly every deck. Raichu's going to be a great archetype. People are definitely going to be playtesting that. Running fighting right now is a good time. Also, Dramp and Dark are still very popular. So, yeah, just saying. I don't know. If you run into Pikachu, Magnus, and anything else, i got a good matchup. So, there's a lot of decks I have in mind to cover. It's crazy, guys. It is insane uh we actually get a good start here i don't think we're playing against volcanian so we can probably just dump tapu fini depending on if he's playing a stage two deck i don't know but we're gonna see 
I saw water, lightning, it almost reminds me of a Team Plasma deck. Psychic? Hmm. I guess it's Garb? Yeah, I think it's Garb. Kind of confused. Uh, Garb, maybe Necrozma, Metagross? I don't know. I didn't see Metal. Eevee, okay, so it's kind of a Garb deck. That's fine. Alright, well, I think we can get rid of Tapu Fini here. I'm just going to go turn one Bridget, fill up the entire bench. Well, I mean, we already have two Zoros down. Um, yeah, I mean, might as well Feeny for Bridget. Or not Feeny, Lele for Bridget. Yeah, I think that's fine. Actually, if you think about it, we have three Cocos in this deck. Or three Cocos, what am I saying? I am... <laughs> I am just in awe right now. I'm too hyped. This weekend's amazing, man. I'm probably going to hit 2k subs, Shiny Legends. I got to go to a wedding tomorrow. And there's new Overwatch skins. Like, bruh. This weekend's insane. My opponent just immediately concedes. Dang. Alright, I don't know what he was running there from the types. It seems like it was going to be a garb deck with, like, maybe an Octillery just for draw support. Maybe he'll let me uh, take a peek. Actually, I don't even know how to peek at people's decks nowadays. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was a garb deck. Alright, I kind of wanted to play that out. I think we would have been fine to win anyways because Zorax resistant to Psychic. Pretty lit. But yeah, as you can see, guys, I haven't even gotten the f past the first part of the ladder. Part of that is because I did spend a day playing a lot of tourneys on this game. But also part of that is because I just haven't had a lot of time. College is just running me dry. It's running me dry. But there you go. Because there are days where I'm, like, at college for, like, 9, 8 hours. I'm there till, like, 8 in the morning till 6 at night. I get, only, I get home at, like, 7 because I have to bus home. And it just, it drains me. Um, looks like we're up against a... Galissapod deck, so we'll see how this goes. We do have Turdinator for a reason. We are going to win the coin flip. Oh, perfect. Alright, let's see. Okay, looks like we start with Turdinator. That's fine. If he's playing Galissapod, I want to start with Turdinator. Um, I think I'm just going to bridge it here, assuming it's in the deck. Because we are, obviously we have to work. Oh. Didn't want to draw that, because I wanted to put that onto Turdinator, but it's whatever. If Bridget's prize, this is actually going to be pretty tragic. Okay, good. This is going to be a good Bridget, because we're going to immediately go into Galissapod and Zork. I mean, we do have more floats. We can always go stand in. I think I'm just going to grab a Wimpod and two Zoroas. Seems like a good play. Whoops, I just opened Google. Did not mean to do that. Okay, I'll check the deck. I want to see how many floats I got. So grab two Zoroas, and we'll grab a Wimpod. For some reason, it won't let me grab the... Okay, won't... Why? What? Huh? Why can't I grab my Reverse Hollow Wimpod? Okay, whatever. I don't know. Um, I want to grab Reverse Hollow, just, you know, bling out. So, um, our prizes aren't bad. We got all our Guzmas, all our Mallows, our ends. I think a Sigmar's prize. One floats in the deck. Oh, yikes. That's what I was worried about. At least we have all our DCs, so that's important. I think we'll pass. Fine. I do want to get a Flowstone on. Maybe I could have just kept one of them. Maybe I could have got rid of Choice Band. Maybe I could have also got rid of Golisopod. I don't know. It's fine. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. One problem is Golisopod will be hard to one-shot. Obviously, Turnator can do a lot of damage, but it's not going to one-shot it. Same thing with Tepu Fini. Um, You know, we can shuffle it back in the deck, but I don't know how much that's going to matter. Looks like he's going to float now, which is kind of interesting. He's going to end me, rip the hand. Maybe we'll get a Guzma, Gullspot, and a Rainbow Energy to knock him out. Or Zoark, something like that. Okay, I'll take it. It's not bad. We can we can stand in. Another Zorua. Yeah, I think it's fine. We'll bling out Zoroarks here. Get that big boy in play. We could Mallow here, which I think I'll do. Yeah, we can Mallow. I think I'm just going to Shell Trap, though. I like doing that. I'm going to get a Golisopod down. But yeah, I think I'm going to Mallow. Don't know what I want to grab quite yet. Do I, f I think I'm going to wait on Choice Band. But I am going to go for the Shell Trap here. Just, you know, it puts some damage on him. Not to mention, then he attacks me. He's going to take some damage. But then we're going to go Mallow. And i got to get rid of something. So that's sad. I think I'm going to get... I'm going to get Ace Rolla so we can Ace Rolla or... Actually, no. It's good. I'm going to grab Guzma. And I guess we have to grab maybe like a Sycamore just to confirm for next turn. I want to grab Guzma in case he doesn't go into Golispod here. 
So I think I'm gonna grab Guzman Sycamore. Just so we have a draw support for next turn. But we still have trade, right? I could maybe grab another Zork? I don't know. No, let's just let's just do that. I don't care. It's fine. Played a three few items, maybe my opponent's going to go for a good old I'm gonna get rid of Ven. I wanna keep choice ban, we're gonna need that in case we need to do extra damage. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this. Nice little shell trap. Only problem is it'd be nice to shell trap him and then, you know, he gets knocked out. Um Garbodor will get knocked out. But they gave Garbodor 120 HP instead of hundred like Garbotoxin, which is kind of annoying. Speaking of Garbotoxin, I gotta watch out for that. And I think he's gonna attack me here with Garb, which is what I want him to do. I'd rather him well, I don't know. Actually, no, he hits me, we can do 80, yeah, we can probably finish him off next turn. But I am going to try and Guzma Galissapod here. He's actually going for the Garbotoxin. Rip our trade in, or trade. Mm, maybe I could have grabbed Field Blower, it's fine though. I think we can still keep going on. Sycamore, okay, so let's see what he gets. Oh, two DCEs, I'd rather, yeah, I guess that's fine. I don't know, maybe uh, Rainbow Energy would be better. My opponent concedes, yo, the deck's making everyone concede today. Yo. Can we get a bunch of coins for the memes, even though Shiny Legends isn't in the shop? Let's see. Nope, one turning ticket. <laughs> but we are going to get some daily challenges done. I want to look at his deck. And before you guys are like, I don't care. Yeah, it was a Garb Galissapod deck. Yeah, it was standard too. He didn't really have any like interesting things, like tech cards like Feeny. Pretty good game though. Not really. It was obviously very quick. We're gonna get another match, though. Don't worry, guys. Do not worry. We are gonna get a mana fee here. I don't think we're gonna be able to get those four chests unless maybe I get a few more games. We'll see. Maybe if I get like really, really quick wins, like last time, we'll be okay. By the way, do you guys get the title? BDIF, no clickbait. Give me the views. Money, money, money. Though there wasn't enough room to put that in. Um. So here we go. We're gonna get another match with our deck. We're going well. We're getting some pretty nice quick concedes in. And we're going to be up against, it looks like, a Garboder deck. Three Garb in a row. Makes me want to play Anti-Garb. We're going to lose the coin flip. No. I'm going to check my phone real quick. Nothing. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, wow. Talk about a good hand. Coco, Zora, Bridget, turn one. Oh. Oh, this deck's insane. I really like this deck right now. I mean, honestly, I haven't played against something like Ninetales. Ninetales would be kind of scary since one-shotting is kind of tricky with this deck. Um, but yeah, I'm having pretty good luck with it so far. Um, I don't know if you could maybe fit in maybe like a Trampa. I kind of did forget to include tech cards of choice. I'll do that at the end of the video, whatever. It's fine. So we're going to see a Lele here. Let's see what my opponent does. But yeah, I think after this game, I'm going to hop on... Overwatch, I gotta render the video, upload it. I'm gonna play some Overwatch, maybe take a nap. Don't know why I'm... Oh, it is Nine Tails. Oh, I just realized. I'm saying I haven't played against Nine Tails yet, and I'm playing against Nine Tails the whole time. Little Dark Fury, get your act together. So Nine Tails will be an interesting matchup, considering our damage output is limited. So Ice Path is gonna be a bit of a nuisance. But with Ace Roll, no one in. Oh no, rip the turn one Bridget. Uh, if we could fly and flip and turn one Bridget on the first turn, that would have been great. I'm not really scared of that little um, of baby nine tails because we do have a Zoark, of course, with Mind Jack. I am kind of scared of nine tails here. Max Elixir too, interesting. And he's gonna be alright. So hopefully we can still pull off a Bridget here. That'd be great. Maybe he's playing Lapras. I don't know. That'd be cool. Maybe it's like Water Two Box with like a nine tails. I don't know. If he's playing Lapras, that's great because we have. Yes, we still got Bridget. We have a pretty good hand. We can at least Galissapod him next turn, which is useful. Maybe we can top deck DC. At least he's with him, Max Elixir. Is there a way to knock him out this turn? I don't think there is. So I think we're going to go for Bridget here. We'll get Zora, Wimpod, Wimpod, right? Okay. Galissa. Okay, now we're going to grab one Wimpod. I don't think he'll knock me out, so I think it's safe to grab a Wimpod. And I guess we'll grab another Zora. We could grab Feeny in case we need to force the Ninetales back in the deck. I kind of like that, but with Aqua Patch, I don't know if that matters. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just grab this instead. I think that's fine. Tempted just to pass here. I think I'll do that. I don't want to attach and then walk into maybe like a DC Guzma play and get knocked out. So that's fine. We are off to a pretty good start. We just need to find a supporter or, you know, something off trade. Gonna get rid of Turdinator here. 
um, off a trade, assuming he doesn't end me. But we have Evo Soda, we'll be able to Evo Soda and Glissapod him, and then maybe we can let him first, maybe, maybe what we can do is we can set up a play where we Ace Roll after he Ice Pass me, that would be a really good way to get around Ninetales, because then at that point, we don't have to worry too much about Ninetales. Now, another interesting thing is he used Professor Kyuki, which is something he needs to be able to choice ban Professor Kyuki, knock out Glisspot, and Zork in one hit. So now that he used one of those, he might not have him for later. We are going to see a beacon here. If we can get a Guzma, this will be great. So uh, we're going to go trade, hope to hit Guzma or Lele or Ultra Ball. There's so many cards we can hit off this uh, trade to knock him out. So, I'm surprised he plays Max Flixer. I guess maybe he plays a split of the boat, but that's a ton of item cards, which means other useful cards that are for tech options might not be in the deck. Rainbow Rare Lele, the man's flexing. Wimpod, okay, that's fine. So, here we go. Hope to hit a Guzma. Alright. If we don't hit it, rip me. Let's go for it. I'm going to get rid of Turdinator because that's the least useful card in a matchup where you're weak to water. And do we get it? We do not, right? Yeah, we don't rip. Do I even want a first impression him or do I wait a turn? I think we got to go now. Yeah. We need to start knocking him out. It's fine. We can take a prize, maybe find something. Um, at least I know I'll probably be safe here. Maybe we can cross and cut him and then go into like Zorua, force him to Ice Path that. We do find Ace Rolla, so that does open the doors up for our play. I think I'm gonna get rid of. I think I'm gonna get. I think I, I play three Wimpods, so I'm gonna get rid of a Wimpod here, off of trade. Assuming he doesn't Lele for N here. I don't think he'll knock it. I mean, okay, maybe he has a knockout on Glow Spot. If he does, that's a little scary. We're gonna probably have to try and go in with a Righteous Beating here, which is still not the best idea because of Ice Path. But then we can ace roll us, so maybe this will work out in our favor, depending on how this plays out. We'll see if he has choice band, water energy, and Lele for Professor Kyuki that he did off of that uh, beacon. Let's see. We'll see what he Lele's for. Maybe, maybe it's not, it doesn't matter if he ends me, we have trade anyways. So let's see. If he doesn't have the KO, I am going to... Maybe I should have put the Wimpod down, but I don't know. I think I got, yeah, I got Ace Rolla at the prizes, so. I think, did I? It was either Stretcher or Ace Rolla. I think it was Ace Rolla, though. Or Zoro. I don't know. I think, I think we're okay to kind of just chill, but maybe I should have Aqua... Huh? Okay. I guess he's Sycamore then, because there's really no need to do that. See, so, yeah, I guess we're going to see a Sycamore here. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to ace roller here, but we'll have to see if we can get something good off of trade. No, he's going to end me. Hmm. Kind of surprised he's doing that. Considering he just wasted one of his important items to uh, attack me consistently. I'm fine with that, though. So, uh, hopefully we can get a better hand here. DC and ace roller. Mallow, Guzma. Hmm. Seen better. He does find choice band, but luckily we are going to survive with just 10 HP to be knocked out by an Ice Blade. So we do have to find a way to retrieve. We do have Ultra Ball, but we don't have any other real way. We can maybe Float Stone and uh, Mind Jack him here. I don't mind that. Alright, let's see. What do we top deck? That works too. Maybe. I think, yeah, I'm going to put the Wimp on down. And I guess we ace roll it here and let him ice path me. Oh, he actually... Okay, he ice bladed me. I see how it is. Um, I think we'll... I don't know what to get rid of here. I think every card's important. How many Guzmas have we played? None. Alright, I think we'll trade off a Guzma then. I want to keep Ultra Ball in case we need to search out something. Okay. No, we can't ace roll up. Ah, oh, rip. Just realized we can't do the ace roll up. Maybe we can set up a trickster here. So we just put the Wimpod down this turn, so it's not going to work out. But no energy is pretty rough. There's nothing to attack with here. Hmm. Okay, the fact that he didn't set me up for an Ice Blade knockout is the best thing about that. 
So I guess we're gonna, yeah, we're actually, we'll do Mallow. I'll uh, just hit him with a Mind Jack, I think. Oh, we already did trade. Oh, I'm playing like an idiot right now, guys. My bad, um, just not playing very smart today. <laughs> not very, uh, I'm not a very smart player right now. Hmm. Dang, bro, why am I playing like a goof? <laughs> that doesn't really matter, does it? I'm just grab this, sure. Oh, man, I'm playing like an idiot. I don't know if I want to do that, because then we walk into an easy knockout on uh, Zork with the ice, pa ice, or, um, ice Blade. Or Blizzard Edge, whatever. Same thing. Potato, potato. Wish I could set up a crossing cup play. I don't look like it's gonna happen. I'm gonna wait to field blower. I don't really want to do it right now. It's gonna get another Vulpix down though, so maybe I should just to negate that. Yeah, let's do it then. I want to negate him not getting a Vulpix down. Why did I do that Mallow thing? Either way, there really wasn't nothing I could do. Still a bit of a weird play by me. I think I'll just Rainbow Wimpod. I'd rather not do Trickster. And I think I'm going to pass. So, not the greatest position. Not I'm not playing very smart right now, guys. Unfortunately, I'm a bit of an idiot. Now, let's see if he has a Guzma for the knockout. Another energy. Yikes. Worst case scenario, he'll Ice Blade the Coco or Ghost Body. could Ice Blade me, but it would take a few Ice Blades to knock me out. Field Blower. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather that be a float than a choice band. I think we'll, yeah, we'll do Ace Roller here, I guess. So I got, I got DC. We can cross and cut into maybe, if he knocks me out, yeah, if he knocks me out, I'll have to go into Zorak. Okay, he is knocking me out. Cool. That does burn a few energies, so, you know, maybe that's uh, kind of relevant. He doesn't have a Vulpix, which is also good. So we're going to cross and cut here. Yeah, that's cool. All right. We could also mind jack him. Is it worth doing that? Because we can mind jack him for a hundred, and then yeah, force him to ice path me, and then at that point we're kind of on cruise control. I do like that actually. All right, so let's just go. We'll trade now. We need to get that Zoark. Maybe uh, maybe we'll get a better card off of the other card, right? Choice band. Okay. Can hit him. Yeah, I think we do 100 to him. But we don't know if we're gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna get DC. Alright, that's fine. Okay, cool. We'll have to sacrifice Zoro here. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I think I'll wait to choice band. That's fine. We'll wait to do choice band here. I mean, we can go into Wimpod, actually. Now nah, we're going to Zora. We need that Ace Rolla, because he can't one-shot me. We're kind of GX attacking him, but at least this way, we're in a position where if he wants to Ice Path, he's going to knock out a baby Zorua. And I'm sure he'd rather put damage on, like, Zorak GX or Ghostbot. Worst case scenario, he has the uh, Thing Maduder, you know... Guzma, but uh, we can always try an Ace Roller here, maybe off of our trade. Maybe I can get the Ultra Ball. I think I'll just trade away Rainbow Energy, though. So, that seems fine. This is an intense match, though. I like you a lot. So, let's see what my opponent will go for. Taking a while. Alright, another Water Energy. So, he's going to be able to Blizzard Edge me. Facebook. All right, cool. Walked right into my trap. I guess we can armor press him, too. Yeah, we'll armor press him. Hashtag seems lit. All right, what do we top deck? Special charge. That kind of works out in our favor. I think... It's the only special energy in the discard, though, so I don't know. DCE Sycamore. Okay. Okay. I see you. Okay, well, DCE Zoroark. We'll charge back this. Though I'd rather use it on DC, but it seems fine. And oh, I wish I was an end though, but it's cool. 
That's what I get for kind of playing a lot more supporters. What do we find? We get Coco. We get Feeny. Feeny, I kind of like. Alright, we'll put down another Zorua. And I think I'm just going to armor press him here. And now we're going to be able to sponge a few hits. He's not going to be able to one-shot me, even with Professor Kikui. And uh, then we get Lele for Ace Rolla. And knock him out. This seems good. Worst case, he gets a Vulpix and is able to build up another Ninetales. But yeah, we're sitting pretty. As long as it's an enemy, we should be good to, you know, put some good pressure on him. An Ultra Ball. Okay, so he's going to go for either Vulpix or Artillery. Hopefully he doesn't go for Vulpix. Actually, eh, it doesn't matter. Ooh, he gets rid of a Ninetales. That's pretty damn good. I don't know if one's prized or not. Probably not. We'll find out. We'll find out. I think after this game, we'll wrap up the video. I can always return this deck in the future, because Ghost Spot Zora GX seems like it's going to be a pretty pretty good deck in the future, so I don't know. You just grab an Octillery. Seems fine. Close. Alright, cool. So, Abyssal Hand for two. I don't know what he's digging for. Maybe he's trying to knock out the Zord, but that's not really helping him. Kind of sucks how to use a crossing cut though on Ninetales, that's cool. Because I'd rather obviously use crossing cut on a Lele and knock it out with a choice band, but you know, it works out fine. Can't do Tapu Storm now, which I don't think matters, but yeah, it doesn't, it's fine. It would have been nice maybe to Tapu Storm on maybe a few turns before with this Ninetales. Choice band, right, I think we still have our field blower. So yeah, we're going to see a 140 damage attack. Or, yeah, okay. So what do we get? Zoark. <laughs> We're sitting pretty right now. Alright, I'm going to get rid of a Wimpod and a Tapu Fini. Two dead cards that we are going to grab. Lele, please, Ace Roller, don't be prized. Yes. Whew, I really feel bad for my opponent right now. <laughs> this kind of sucks. I think we'll trade off the Coco. It's fine. Alright, so bring back Galissapod. Rip my opponent's dreams. I'll put Coco down. Yeah, we'll put we're out of base rollers. I want to put a Coco down just to be able um to fly and flip and maybe knock him out with a choice band of Zork. Full band trade. Whoops to me. Oh I almost clipped that. Alright, we'll go with another trade. Get rid of Ultra Ball. Don't see me using that anymore. Don't know what I'm digging for, in all honesty. Floatstone works. Uh, yeah. Put that on. Shillelagh, I guess. And, uh. Let's go for first impression. Wait! Oh, no. Don't tell me it's glitched. Is it glitched? Yo, why did it only do 60? Is it because I evolved it? No, that doesn't make any sense. I think I... Oh, no, it's because I evolved it. <laughs> Dude, I am so useless right now. Well, we'll have to find flip him then. That works too, I guess. Dude, that would have been such a good turn. But because I don't know how to play this game properly, it's not a good turn. <laughs> Apologies, guys. Apologies. Oh, uh, man. I'm just not very... I'm not playing very smart today, am I? And it looks like he's going to take out my Zorg. Which, no, he actually... We'll live with 20 HP, which is kind of nice. Dang, why am I playing like an idiot today? I, th I thought you could evolve into Galissapod in the active and it'll work, but it doesn't work like that. I should have. I should have done Sand In, guys. That's my bad. Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> it's going to cost me game two, probably. Man, apologies, but you know, at the very least, we are going to survive a turn. We're going to take a hit here. That's cool. We couldn't actually Guzma. 
your boy out. We get to knock him out flying flip. Oh man, guys. I I am so sorry for the bad plays today, guys. I don't know what's happening. I'm losing my brain cells. That's all I can say. Um, Stretcher. Do we need to play that anymore? I don't really want to. The bad plays are real, though, honestly. At least this gives us a reason to flying flip. I don't know. We'll get rid of Stretcher, though. I don't know if I'll need that anymore. I want to find maybe like another Guzman. Ultra Ball, I guess. Alright, whatever. Let's just flying flip him here. And at least this way, we are now able to knock out this. And we are able to put damage on him to be knocked out by a Zorg Jex Choice Band. And two Prime, another Energy, another Golisopod. So we have two Guzmans left. So hopefully we can find one of them. Apologies for the, the misplay there. I th That was, what, two misplays we made this game? I'm just not thinking very straight. I think I'm not concentrated enough because I'm talking so much. But I do apologize, guys, for the misplays. And before you end up for me because of that. Alright, let's see what else my opponent does this turn. He's going to have to retreat, meaning he isn't able to maybe not Nine Tails me unless he finds an Aqua Patch. So we're going to force him to have to pay an extra energy to retreat. If he doesn't retreat, Octillery is stuck in the active. He can always find Guzma, but that's not going to help his case. Because he's going to be attacking with Tapu Lele, right? And he won't knock out the Zorg. So as long as your, your boy Zorg's in play, we at least have a decent counter Nine Tails. But if Nine Tails hits the board, it already has 20 damage and we do have Electric Ball. To be able to knock it out. So he does find the old and ideal. So Zork it might get knocked out this turn. I think he attached a DC though. So let's see if he has the Guzma. He's only played one so far. So let's see if he finds it or not. But he hasn't played actually quite a few cards. Another Ultra Ball. And that was his baby Nine Tails. That's his last Nine Tails too, which is important. <laughs> the misplays, guys. I might do another match after this in all honesty. I'm kinda of feeling it. Don't mind a longer video, but I do want to get this up tonight. I'm recording this at 2.43. It'll take a few hours to render. So I guess it's up maybe by 8. I might just upload it like at midnight or something, maybe. We'll see. Oh, he plays Manaphy. Yo, the surprise Manaphy tech. At least it's a free knockout on Galissa off of the spot, which is cool. Um, N is a little scary because we are going to lose this big hand. And Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? This guy actually hit the Aqua Patch? Hmm. That is scary. Either way, he's only taking one prize card this turn, so it's not really too bad. I can't believe he got that. But yeah, he's only taking one prize here, so it's fine. Oh no, I was hoping he wouldn't do that, so I can... Oh, I was hoping that would not happen. Because I, I was going to go into Lele and uh, first impression him. It looks like, nope, not going to happen. See what he does here. I think I'm gonna bring out. I don't know, I'll, I'll bring out Lele and just attach a Rainbow Energy to it. I guess it's fine. Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. How many Choice Bands has he played? Just one. Okay, never mind. I don't want to do that because eh, it doesn't matter. I guess because I don't want to put damage on me because I literally put one Rainbow Energy on Lele and get knocked out by a, a Blizzard Edge, which is not good. I need an Iron Prizes here, so yeah. Might have to just retreat Zork, which I'm fine with. We still have... Still have, you know, two DCs left, so we'll see. Maybe we can find DCE here and do that, but I think we'll bring up Zork. We can just mind jack him, I guess, too. I don't mind that either. So either way, Zork's gonna get knocked out, so I think we'll, we can get away with probably pulling off a mind jack here. Despite all the misplays, guys, we're gonna try and win this match. Guzma this turn is obviously priority number one. So we'll get rid of an N. We can't do Mallow, obviously, so we'll get rid of N here. Okay. <laughs> get rid of N again. Guzma. We got a few cards left in the deck. Yes. Okay, good. We got DC, too. So yeah, we can take him out with Golly here. I'm get, I'll just Rainbow Energy, just set up a uh, Righteous Beating, I don't want to draw into that. We are going to Ultra Ball too, I'm going to get rid of I'm gonna get rid of Rainbow Energy and Glisspot. I don't know if I'm even going to need these anymore, we don't even have anything left. I just need to thin out the deck a little bit, just in case. And uh, yeah, we are going to do Guzma here on this Lele, we're going to knock it out, and before the game glitches and doesn't give me the knockout again, Kappa. Yeah, it wasn't a glitch, I know, I was just being an idiot. Being an idiot. We'll take our two prizes. 
choice band and a Lele. Lele's pretty big because we got one Guzma in the deck, I think. Yep. So we win next turn unless my opponent ends me or our Guzma's prize. Guzma could be the last prize card. I might be going insane here. Let's find out. But you can kind of see what this deck can struggle with. It's taking easy one-shots on big threats like Ninetales. Again, Glisspot only does 150. Zoark only does 150 max with a choice band. Also, Zoark is really your only option to maybe one-shot things. Pardon me. And Field Blower again. I said, what, your third Field Blower? Who plays three Field Blower in... What? <laughs> Why do you play three Field Blower? Oh my gosh. Thank gosh we still have our other choice band. Uh, how many ends has this man played? Two. Okay, we're probably gonna get end here. We still have so many options though, so it's not a big deal. Another Ultra Ball. But yeah, all we again, all we need is Guzma. We can knock out Mana Fee to win, or Lele, or Octillery. So it's looking pretty. Another Aqua Patch. That's nice. Uh, does he, I don't think he has anything left. Obviously, he did that so we can abyssal hand a bit, try and draw some cards. He's probably trying to end me. Oh, he knows. Oh, he does have a full bit. Never mind. Probably still has a super rod or a stretcher, also. This is a crazy play. Max Elixir, Aqua Patch, and three field blowers. Don't know what to say about that, guys. I don't know what to say about that. It's just crazy. Brooklyn Hill. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Does he find. The beautiful N. Natural something growth. I think that's what N's called. Okay, so he does get the DC on. He can, you know, he can Ice Blade, which he's probably obviously going to want to do here. Tapu Fini. Okay, <laughs> at least he's used his Jax attack, right? <laughs> that could have been bad. No, he does at the end. Oh. Alright, one card. But we have a lot of ways to get out of this. We have late, late. We don't have any Ultra Balls. Evo Soda. Okay, that's at least something we can discard, I guess. Maybe I can check the deck. Oh, you know what? We actually could have won because he has a full bench. So if we didn't knock out Zora, we actually had the win there. If we found our Choice Band, which we have two left. Field Blower. Okay. See you, game. Doesn't matter, but I'm going to play that anyways. And we are going to trade here. DC, E, and N. Get the armor press. We don't have, actually, we don't have a way to Guzma to win, never mind. Float stone. Not helping. Alright, well, looks like we're going to have to settle with an armor press. We'll see if he has the win this turn. Choice band Guzma would be very bad. But right now we're chilling with a nice armor press for 100. Kind of shaking here, man. This is intense. Stretcher. Okay. Uh, it doesn't. He can get back a nine tails. That could be bad. But he's basically out of ways to build up. He might even be out of energy left. Six waters in his discard. Two. Yeah, he's nine energy in play. And I don't think he plays any more than nine. So it's fine. He's probably gonna retreat into nine tails though and try and stall a bit. Probably his best play. But once we find Guzma, we win. Might not even be in the deck. Looks like we're going to have to keep applying pressure with Armor Press. Or worst comes to worst, we're going to have to go into Righteous Beating. We'll see. DCE. And before he decks himself out. What does he even have left? Like, he still has a few Guzmas, but I don't know. I haven't seen one yet. Maybe he doesn't even play that many. Because, again, he does have to have room for Max Elixirs and three Field Blowers of all cards. So, you know, maybe by my luck, he doesn't have anything left. Let's find out. This is intense. This is very intense. Despite a few misplays. Okay, he does that Guzma. Does he have the choice band? He might. He's played two. Please be prized. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because I'll still survive. And he's going to do this. Okay. And just a Blizzard Edge. Alright. And that is game. <sighs> <laughs> that was intense. Holy cow. That, my friends, is what I call an intense match. And uh, that's how you wrap it up, folks. That is how you wrap up a video. And our Guzma was prized. So look at that. We got really lucky there.
I'm glad you didn't go on the other Nine Tails, but uh, that will wrap up today's video. I think, um, I think it's fine to wrap it up. And before you guys were like, "Yo, you made a few misplays, man," it doesn't count. Holy cow! I need to exit out of this. <laughs> I was asking for a Zoark. If you're wondering why it's open, um, but yeah. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Apologies for the misplays. That was lit. I think I'll wrap up the video with the Zorg GX poll I got. I called it, which makes it even more awesome. I'll see you guys on some more videos. Expect some more Zorg videos in the future. See you guys later, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye. And subscribe to help me with the road 2K subs. I am very close. Okay. I'm like, so 13, Before 14. we get into the video and the deck, we gotta open up some Shiny Legends packs. You know, they're not just gonna add a new set to the shop. I'm not gonna be able to open some packs. So I got some packs here, you know, and we wasn't able to get any codes, unfortunately. But, you know what, we're going to open up some SL pack. Ooh. Trade went through. Hold on. Zoark. Damn it. Okay. Works too. I was hoping it'd be for Zoark GX, so, you know, everyone wants some Zoark GX in their life. But I'm going to open these up. I don't know. If I pull, like, a GX, I might just stop. Like, honestly, the set's so valuable on day one. Oh, ooh, we got a Croconaw. I was looking. Venusaur. Okay. Looks like uh, this is probably a Venusaur video, then, if you're watching this. Zoark GX Rainbow Rare. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, we do get a Croconon. I, I do really like this card. I think it's okay as, like, a fun rogue, maybe. But, um, Venusaur is great. Now I have two. I gotta cancel that pub trade. Open up another pack here. If we pull Mewtwo or Entei, I'm going to be very sad. We do get a Damage Mover, which I think I'm gonna try out. We do get some Spiritombs. It's not a bad card, I guess. And our rare is a Hoopa. That is not too bad, actually. Um, so we got two packs left. And uh, hopefully we can pull Zork. All I'm really looking for is Zork here, so I don't have to like trade off something crazy. We get a Fraligator. We do get an Ivysaur. We finally get a Bulbasaur. I do need two of these. Got Zorua, Volcarona. This is an all right card, I guess. Not really that good though. Fraligator I'll take because it goes with our Croconaw. And our rare is a Keldeo. That's not bad. I can try that out. And our rare is Zorjax. Nope. Manaphy. A lot of water types in this pack. All right, last pack in, guys. Are we gonna pull Zork? Or, I guess Raichu is not bad. But are we going to pull Zoark? I don't think we would. We do get another bubble. Oh! <gasps> what? 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 Yo!